Okay, uh, 3D CAD jewellery. Um, this is a shape that we're working on before. We need to fill at the edge of it. Um, fill it keeps failing, which it often does on Rhino. It's down to a few things, but we won't go into that on this video. Basically, I'm going to build the surface like I did before, which is um, from a point to a cross section to a point. And we're going to join that all up together. So I didn't want to join the lines. <laughs> Shook for later. If you type in what, it tells us there it's a closed poly surface with three surfaces. That's a top, a bottom, and a bit around the outside. And we're going to try and fill it with Rhino fill it, fill it edge. We'll set it to something at 0.3. And oh, look, it's failed. So, oh, quick work around or quick way of doing it is the curves. So we used to build the surface, we join them back up. And I'm going to pipe that. Pipe it in the same diameter as we tried to fill it before, which is 0.3. And then we're going to use that pipe as a cutter split it away, so delete the pipe, delete the surface and we're going to use a command called blend surface to blend everything together nicely so bit the outside of each surface can you just suppose we can lock them together just to make equally. Put it back to somewhere around there and OK it. And then we'll join everything up. And we've got a closed surface with four surfaces now because we've added a fillet. Sometimes you can get away with the fillet working, fillet edge working um, by just keep reducing the radius or you can use variable radius. Um, well it's point 0.2 now. I'm gonna give up. <laughs> I'll do it with a bigger a bigger area now, a bigger fillet now, so 0 0.5, half a mil. There we go. We'll trim away again. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Turn our um, curve off. Blend surface. Slight edges. There we go. Do you want to look? What again? We've got a closed so poly surface with five surfaces, which is great. Let's have a look at it with a um, bit of a different view. Pick purple because I think that's the best colour in Rhino. I think it's ace. <laughs> um, and then we'll turn off the edge curves and edges and stuff. And that's a finished shape. Nicely filleted. Oh, that helps out anyway, and hope you enjoyed watching. I'll catch you again. Cheers, bye.